everything in our front is about playing fast, playing hard, and playing tough, okay? So we want to be multiple. We want to, cre we want to create confusion on their side and, and minimize confusion on our side. We believe it like it's like going every Friday night we're going to war. Every Friday night. We have a tank. All right? We have, you know, we have a slingshot. We have all types of weapons for Friday night. Which ones do we need to bring? <clears throat> so we, we, we don't anticipate, you know, it's like going to the buffet. We have all types of food to eat. You're not eating at all the foods every time you go to the buffet. You eat your four or five favorite things. That's what this defense is. We have a buffet of things we can run. And we're willing to run every single one of them if it means we can win the football game. Okay? So, just real quick, it's all about terminology, real quick. So we got to get on the same page. So for us, this is a one's a shade on the guard, a three's a shade on the guard, a five's on the tackle, seven's inside, and a nine's outside. And real quick, again, I, I, I speak four cities a year all across the country. The rules typically of Glacier are you can't speak the same city within three years. So some, some places, one is head up, two, or excuse me, one's a shade, two's head up, and three's a shade on the guard, the tackle, and the tight end. That's too, much, too many words for us. I say seven is specifically inside the tight end. So when I tell the linebacker how to line up, I say this kid would be in a 10. What's a 10? It's a one off the ball. So I tell him you got to get to a 20 linebacker, he knows hit up the guards. Okay? So again, it's all about verbiage. It's all about quick conversation, and it's about precise conversation. I say stop. I don't have time to say, will you please stop and not go over there? It's like if you're about to walk out in front of a car, you want me to say stop, or you want me to say, Billy, will you please kindly back up a little bit? You want me to say stop and save your life. That's how communication in football is. Like I tell the parents, I'm saying with my inner voice, Billy, I love you, will you please not do that? But it might sound like, what the fuck are you doing? All right? Okay? But I really am saying in football, Man, I love you. Don't do that again, okay? It just comes out a little bit different. Okay, so a zero is a shade for us. Two is head up. A four is really a four I. We slide to inside. And a six is head up. A, B, C, and D would be pitch. Okay, so that's a pro set, wing, twins, and a slot. I got a lot of video to watch, so we're going to roll. All this verbiage in here, like anything over here, is for like just the guys... That like one on the website, you want to read that stuff, it's all there for you. Okay, right now it's from I'm trying to get you the information. So for us, our strength is the tight end, most receivers, wide side of the field, or if all things being equal, it's the quarterback's arm. Okay. So we have guys that travel together. Why? Because we don't think we have two really good three techniques. We don't think we have two good tackles. We got one good tackle and the other guy. Okay. And he may be one of four guys. You know what I'm saying? We got the big fat one that comes in on third and one. Excuse me, the big bone husky kid that comes in on third and one. All right? And we got the little slender kid that comes in on first and ten because he's going to knife his way through there. We got all that stuff. Because you got this thing's like a puzzle. You got to put the pieces of the puzzle together to be effective on Friday nights. Okay? So he's a three. That tells him to line up opposite. Okay? So if there's two backs, we're gap control. If it goes one back, we defend the formation and screw the gaps. The formation integrity is a thousand times more important than are you lined up in A-gap. Because guess what? They go to run A-gap, you're going to find it from where you are. Trust me. <coughs> or they're going to find you, one of the two. Okay? Coach, there's a handout in the back if you want to grab it. Okay. End. Ann's rule is I'm a seven if there's a tight end. If there's no tight end, I'm a five. Sam will travel with them. Okay, the wheels are, Will is the adjuster for us. The mic's always in the box. The one's the kid that can take on the double team or push through A-gap, but he's not the three technique. And if there's not two, three techniques, then we play a lot of ones. Okay, the B is the athletic kid that can get on the field, and he, he can run fast, and if they run at him, we might be in trouble. But again, he can play the down, he can play the reach, but he can't play the drive. He don't have enough. So how do we win the drive? We freaking rip through B-gap every time they try to turn out on us. 
about one out of three we go through B-gap. So that tackle is now so conscious, he don't know he's going to step down or step out. All right? So you're not going to do that a whole lot. Because what do offensive coaches want to do? They want to go where they know what you're going to be doing. When they can't predict it, they stop going there. Okay? Remember, you typically don't have to stop that play one good time, and guess what they think? I can't run that tonight. No, we just got lucky one time. He didn't know it. Okay? But you just got to stop it one good time. 